Hi everyone. Good morning. A sunny day in Vancouver, so I'm pretty happy. We have already 68 people attending, so welcome. I'm gonna be looking in the beginning for the other screen, but um, just know I want to know where you guys are from. So um, share with me in the chat where you're from um, and uh, what we're looking for uh, to take out from the webinar today. I'm curious to know. Cool. Hello, good morning. A lot of messages. Nigeria, welcome. That's so cool. Let me see if I can put my screen closer. So you guys are hearing me well. Um, sometimes I have some echo. Uh, please let me know if the sound is not as good um, and I can try to um, remove the hear sad and see. Oh, from Brazil, but in Finland. That's nice. I always wanted to visit Finland. India. Nice. Nigeria, Mexico, Iran. Nice. Welcome, guys. No echo. Yay. Good. That's perfect. Uh, thank you for letting me know. Hi, Turkey. Oh, I've been in Istanbul. It was amazing. I feel like I should go back. It's a beautiful place. Ghana, Turkey again. Nice. Mumbai, Colombia, Kenya. Welcome, everyone. So today we're going to talk about the four steps to increase your chance to get hired abroad. I'm going to talk a little bit about Van Hack and how you can do that. And I also want to know um, from all of you while we wait just one more minute, if you already completed your English verification. So say yes if you already completed your English verification. So I can know how many of you already did. That would be nice. Let me see if I can launch a poll here. Have you completed your English verification? Yes, not yet. Okay, now you guys can see my poll. Let me know if you already completed. Oh my God, a lot of people are replying. That's cool. 50-50 almost for now. Let's see. I'm going to give you a few more seconds while we see if that's... I want to... I'm going to convince you guys how important it is to complete your English verification today. That's part of you being able to apply for jobs and actually start having a chance to be... Um, part of any European or Canadian company. So, oh my God, 50-50, half of you haven't completed. Oh no, I'm not happy with that. We're gonna change that today. Let me end the poll so you guys can see the results. Here, so 52% said already completed and 47 are yet to complete. So guys, Today is the day that you're going to complete your English verification to be able to apply for jobs in VanHack. I'm going to start now. So I'm going to share my screen. Today is going to be a mix between getting your questions and actually going through um, the presentation and the platform itself. So I'm looking forward to it. Let me see, it's taking a little longer to share the screen. I know that sometimes I have a delay uh, with it. I can't see the chat as well. So I'm gonna continue talking and let's see if I'm gonna need to restart. Okay, let me see if I can. I'm I'm back. Let's see if you guys can see me again. Yeah, reconnected. Okay, you guys can see me back. Nice, that's good. Oh my God, I was worried. I'm happy that you can see me back. 
Perfect. So let me share my screen with you guys. In just one sec, let me open it again. Nice, good. Okay, let's see if the problem is with me sharing my screen. Let's, I'm gonna try it again. Sharing. Oh no, now it worked. No problem, good. Oh guys, thank you so much for being supportive. All right, so for now, I'm gonna spend probably half an hour just ignoring the chat. Um, and as soon as I complete the presentation, I'm gonna go back and read all your questions. So if you have questions, wait a little bit so it doesn't get lost. But if you have a question that it's uh, someone else can help you, just post and then we can help each other through, through this chat. So let's start. So today, I want to introduce myself. I'm Fernanda. If Fernanda is hard for you to pronounce, you can say Fe, which is my nickname. I'm responsible for all the best practices with Ben Hack. So um, if you are not sure about how to uh, add a picture, go for the English verification or uh, any other request, everything can be uh, true um, uh, with me. You can select, you can email me. Uh, the English verification, if you have any challenges with the English verification or if you have any um, problems with your audio or the result, I'm also your go-to person. Code challenge, the same idea, um, mock interview, profile review, networking. I also give a little help on those. So if you have questions, I'm here for you. I know most of you uh, fear all this uh, new experience of applying for a job abroad. Some might have the insecurity of the English verification, some might be afraid of an interview in English, but we are here to help you out. So if you feel like it's time for you to uh, give it a shot, I think that's the best idea because in case your English verification is not the score you expected, you still can retake in a few days actually a month. If your uh, code verification is not uh, the way you expect, you can retake in three months. So you are always ready to reach it out and take it again and try it again. But if you don't complete, you will never know if it's the right time or not. So I want to say a little bit about VanHack. We were started, uh, we were founded in 2015 as an educational platform, and uh, which is now called the uh, Premium Academy. So um, that was our first intention to help anyone that was looking for a job. But it turns out that we were so successful that uh, the company started to ask for help. So we started to do the recruiting piece too. Um, right now, we have over 2,000 companies in Canada and Europe that use us as a hiring partner. We all are over uh, 950 uh, candidates that were already hired through VanHack. A lot of you ask me if there is any cost for our work. No, there is no cost for the hiring process. You don't have to pay so we can introduce you to the company. If you want to improve your skills with the Premium Academy, then you have a membership, but it's completely different from the hiring process itself. Also, by the end, I have big news because we have an offer from the Premium Service. We had a Black Friday sale, which is crazily um, affordable. We have discounts almost uh, for the six months. We have 50% plus a month for free. So it's even more than 50% if you do the math. And um, we also help out with sponsor visas. Uh, we support you throughout the way. So not only when you are looking for a job or improving your skills for a job, but also with your working visa. We do have uh, remote jobs, especially now with the COVID situation, uh, COVID-19 was a pretty, it, it complicated a lot of our lives, but it did not stop. So go there if you're looking for a job that it's fully remote and you want to work, uh, but not leave your home country, you can do that too. We have around a, 
100 new jobs posted every month. So keep your eyes open. We might not have QA right now on our platform, but maybe in a few days it might show up. We don't control exactly what are the needs from each of our 200 clients. So go there and check it out regularly. My suggestion is for you to check it out every single day because the quicker you go there and you apply for the job, the, the higher are your chances actually to get hired. Um, the easiest way to get information about anything within Hack is through Slack. So if you're not part of our community, we have a Slack channel that it's free. Anyone can join. We have one specific for premium. Um, as soon as you become the uh, part of the premium academy, you can join that one too. And we also have one that it's only for women. So if you're not comfortable with talking to other male participants, you always can come to this like with for women only. If it might sound too good to be true, we have our success cases. A lot of people share their experiences and how they uh, got their job abroad. Uh, we have a lot of videos on YouTube. We have a podcast or a blog, LinkedIn. So we are all over social. Make sure you be you are part of that uh, and, and you can learn more about us. So the four steps for this journey today, it's going to be completing your profile, having your English verification, completing your code challenge if you have a code challenge that it's aligned to your experience, your expertise. If not, this is not mandatory. And then you go and apply for jobs. So for completing your profile and English verification, those two are mandatory. Otherwise, you cannot even apply for jobs. But the code challenge is a different situation. I'm going to show you all the different code challenges that we have right now. Um, but I want you guys to make sure that today, not after another day, you're going to complete your English verification. This is your commitment with me for today, okay? So um, I'm going to open with you the platform right here. I logged off so we can go through all of the steps. If you come here, I want to emphasize how nice this short video from Camilla is because she is able to introduce herself in 37 seconds. And it's a pretty good um, overview about our first uh, English question for the English assessment, which we will talk later, which is tell me about yourself. So if you want an example or have an idea about how to reply that question, here's a really good idea. Um, here, the super good deal for Premium Academy. We still have three days. And here at the corner, um, you have the login. I'm going to log in through my personal account. And I like to use LinkedIn to make it easier. And for this account, I'm, uh, I have the free version. So as you can see, my Premium Academy is blocked. I cannot see, but I still have resources here, the code challenge, English verification, events, jobs, and, uh, and the job board itself. So I want to start by showing something pretty cool, which is our chat. So now we have a few questions right here so you can connect with us too. And the Slack channel right in the corner. But let's start by the profile itself. So. When you click to your uh, photo and you come to profile, you can just open the full profile, um, your full profile. Those are the steps that you have to take to complete. But we are going to go through uh, one by one as it goes right here to make it easier. So photo, a lot of people ask me, like, is it mandatory? It is not but it's highly recommended. It's nice for the person to get to know you. You may also say something about your personality or um, what I mean by that is like, let's say you have a passion for reading and then you wanna have a photo reading a book that can give more about you. But overall, just be professional, no drinking, not like a group photo, be profession, uh, professional and make sure that this photo represents you. If you haven't completed your English verification, you're going to have 
here a link to stored, but because I already did, I got my score right here. Uh, for the code chat task, we're going to talk later, but if you want to take a look on your code task, all you have to do is come here and see details and it's going to take you for the page. For general, probably most of you already fill it up because it's part of our onboarding. But I want to give you some hints about why that is important and why you should really pay attention on filling all your profile and increasing your chances of getting a job. We want to know your citizenship, but also your current location. Because like me, I'm Brazilian. I was born there. I can speak Portuguese. I have the Brazilian personality, but I've been living in Canada for more than five years now. And if there is any um, event in Brazil, they know that I'm from there. So maybe uh, we can invite them. Uh, the person who are from the same place, like I might be, be visiting my friend, my family there or for the current location. So if there is any event going on in Canada, I also get to know. Gender, again, because we have some events that are exclusively for women or some others, like for example, it's really important to choose um, one of the, the, the genders. So if you feel like you don't identify yourself as female or male, you always can choose other, but make sure to fill that up. Your phone number, sometimes uh, the recruiters, they, they are in a hurry, so they want to reach you out because it's missing something very small on your profile. So it's nice to have your phone so they can reach you out faster. Uh, I, something that it's really important to know about our platform is that we have the commitment to uh, share uh, you, uh, at least a couple of uh, candidates with the companies in 48 hours. So let's say your profile is not complete, it's missing just education, uh, or maybe your resume, you forgot to attach a resume. So in that case, if we have your phone, we can call you and you will be still eligible for that 48 hours. But if not, um, then it's going to be hard to contact you. Um, on our English verification, the first video, uh, actually all three video videos are, they are about um, how to introduce yourself and who you are and what are your expectations. So if you allow uh, us, we can share with the companies, the hiring companies. So that's something that I know that some people are fearful for privacy, um, but I highly recommend you to make it public. It can increase uh, your chances of um, getting hired for sure. Professional overview. I know that um, if you were a senior front end engineer, you're going to feel like you have to add the senior in front and you almost want not to choose one of those. But those are the most um, common ones. So for sure, choose the one that is closer. If you're a senior or a junior, just pick front end engineer and we can classify you as junior or senior with the years of experience you have in that role. Um, if you have any leadership skills, so for example, if you are a manager, um, click it here. If you are a team lead, click it here. It's just click and click. If you're considering to change your expertise because you know that it's going to uh, it's going to be easier for you to um, maybe be um, uh, something else to look for a job abroad. All you have to do is click here to say what are the jobs that you're looking for. So let's say web developer, click, and then you will be also considered for all of those um, optional jobs and not just the one that you have more experience. For the skills, you probably already filled that up. If not, go there right now and fill that up because it, this is one of the most important pieces. You have to say what are the skills that you have right now and the amount of years that you have for each. That is going to help you increase the match between our uh, um, our in, in artificial intelligence, the, the match, the, the piece of our system that matches you with the jobs that we are currently posting. So go there and make sure to have all eight filled. The top, the ones that are more related to the job you're looking for right now, like the main job you chose, but you can just go and choose how, whichever you prefer in the style by year or by not year. It doesn't really matter if it's the one that you have more experience in the top or not. 
as long as you share all your big uh, achievements as well. Something that it's really important is this number. So if you've been a front-end engineer for four years, it means that you have to have four years described on your experience section. So for example, I say that I have four years, uh, but I only put 2008 up to now. That will trigger a red flag for our recruiters. So if you say that you have four years, you have to add four years or more. Does that make sense? Code, okay. Is in advanced, not fluent. Uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, if you, I, I can tell about the scores uh, later on on the platform. We have some. Points. And funny about my score is actually that it felt like I was reading because I rehearsed so much that I didn't got fluent. I got advanced. And it makes sense because um, I, the, the video wasn't um, like here. Like I was, it wasn't as interactive as I'm doing now. So I can share with you guys later on about that. Okay. You also have three hours recording. Yes, I'm going to come back for the English verification and then we can talk about that. But you do have three hours to complete the English verification. Although it takes less than 15 minutes. Um, so make sure to combine the years of experience that you added here with your experience at the following section. If you are willing to work remote or if you want to work only remote or if you are only uh, looking for uh, relocation opportunities, you can select here and the countries that you are considering. You can neither click or unclick anytime. Please share with us which one is your first choice uh, in terms of country where you're really looking for. Salary expectation, share with us what is your salary expectation. Something that it's really important to remember is that if you are applying for a position that it's remote only, most likely the salary will be a, a balance between the country, the company country salary and your home country salary. So make sure to balance that out um so you can increase your you, you don't get eliminated by any chance so let's say you're applying for a job in canada the average is 70 70 000 to 100 000 a year but if it's fully remote they might be considering a lower salary so it's something that to, just to keep in mind you always have a lot of resources on google to check it out i also recommend glassdoor sometimes to see what is the salary expectation for a specific role. If you have uh, your visa status, European visa, your US visa, share with us because then we get more information, we can move things faster for you. Um, valid passport, also add the expiration date um, if you have one. If not, go there and get one. If you are active looking for a job, share with us as well. Here is your preference for the company size. So if you're just looking for startups, you can unclick the others and keep just startup. If you're willing to take any company size, click them all. Notice period. So here is how long it will take from the day you tell your current company, your current um, job employer, uh, from the day that you end your contract, how long it will take. So for example, in Canada, the day that I say, hi boss, I'm not long, I'm, I don't wanna work here anymore. From the day that I actually stop working, it takes two weeks. In Brazil, it takes a month. So you have to select from our options how long it normally takes for you. Social profile here is easy. Um, share your LinkedIn, share your GitHub link, share a website in case you have. And we also want to have the link for your resume. So for example, here is the link for my resume. I chose um, Google Drive and I added my resume. Oh, I put the, the company one. Okay, so this is um, the resume that we have as a template. 
So you can always come here if you don't have a resume and uh, you want to share, you can come and file, make a copy and have your own resume edit. But the idea is that you have your own resume here. So make sure that you always share and allow anyone on the internet with the link that to view. So you guarantee that any of our recruiters can access that. So add your resume link right here. If you have other languages, so I know English, I know a little bit of French, I know Portuguese, and I know a little bit of Spanish. So you can select here. Although I'm saying that I have advanced in English, that doesn't eliminate the need for uh, the English verification. If you choose native, that also does not eliminate the, the need for your English verification. So this is just a plus, but English verification is still is mandatory. Oh, but I have a CELPIP or an IELTS or TOEFL. It does not eliminate the English verification. So you can add here so we can share with the company and they can understand better what is your English level. But we are evaluating you as a working um, English ability and not just as, let's say, how good you are on grammar or how well you can uh, write something, but actually how well you can communicate on a work environment. So make sure to fill those up, but go there and take your English verification. I'm going to say that so many times that you're going to dream with me saying, go there and take your English verification. Uh, when it comes to experience, we have so many questions about that. Um, I guess the most important piece is share your success. You can share your tasks, but tasks anyone can do the same. So I can say, for example, that I provide career workshop facilitation and coaching, but pretty much anyone with my job can do that. So how do I do it in a different way? The way that I do is I conduct webinars about candidate onboarding process, engaging and helping the candidates complete all the necessary steps to succeed in Van Hack selection process. So here you have a lot more information about how I do my webinars, my coaching, than in the first one where I'm just saying that I provide career uh, workshop facilitation and coaching. If you want to get a step, a step, um, an extra step and give the idea about how big the company is or how your job has an impact in the company you current work for or you used to work for, you can give some numbers. So, for example, facilitated over 30 workshops in the past year with several different career topics, such as resilience on the job search for newcomers cultural differences, ATS, networking skills, and many more. So by saying how many workshops I hosted in the past year, that helps the company to understand what are my capabilities. So uh, how many uh, or how do I deal or how prepared I am? You don't have to say that the company is a startup only because it might be a startup, but I maybe have done more workshops than a bigger company because it's only one person. So make sure to give some numbers. Another example of that can be maintaining, maintain, uh, maintain timely, accurate client records and confiability confidentiality. You can say that as something that anyone can do, but if you can explain what that means, you can say, for example, develop the communication plan for a candidate onboarding process together with the marketing team. You don't have to say that it's something that only you can do. You have to, you can describe how you do it. A communication plan implies that this is um, being very confidential, that you can readjust. But if you don't want to imply, you can actually go there and uh, say it. Develop a communication plan for the candidate with privacy, um, making sure that he feels uh, that he can trust you, so and so forth. 
So I, I hope that kind of gives you an idea about how to write your experience. But for the most important piece that I want you to know is that if you describe numbers, if you quantify your successes, if you define, if you classify what is different about you, I think that's what are going to make you uh, stand out from your competitors or from other candidates. I can see here that I have many questions. Um, I'm going to get back to the questions soon. Um, and then we can complete. So I'm going to just uh, go very fast from now, but this is pretty much the most important piece um, for your um, for your profile. It's sharing how you do it, what you do it, and how you do it. And as you can see, always try to start with an action verb, then what you do, then how you do it. That's the easiest way. Um, Let's get another example. Supported more than 2,000 clients to excel in their job search. Action verb, supported. What I did, supported more than 2,000 clients to excel in their job search. How I did, through online and in-person workshops, teaching, sorry, through, uh, through online and in-person workshops, teaching them strategies and tidbits about how to tell their work experiences. Um, we can, uh, uh, we have many webinars that you can go through. We have a few on YouTube as well, talking more about that. So as long as you go there and you uh, think about your experience, I think that's the easiest way. On education, um, you can just select which one is the one um, that you, uh, what is your higher education degree. And if you do that, I think that's going to be the easiest way to reach out. So, for example, mine, my highest is a bachelor, so I can just click. If I have any license or certification, I can just add it here, institution, title, and date. If you have any side projects, um, here is the best idea for you to share. So if you have a YouTube channel where you help other developers to overcome their fears from interview, you can add as a side project. If you have any um, mentorship abilities because you are actually a volunteer, you can add here. If you have a blog where you share your, um, your codes, here is a good place to add. For this one, for side projects, it doesn't count for your um, for the years of your experiences. Four years here. For that four years, it's only about your experience. So make sure that you have the same amount of years that you have up there and here described. All right, let's come back to our presentation. And now we are going to talk about our English vacation. Yes, my favorite. So why is that so important? It's important because we want to compare you with the same abilities, the same input. So we want to make sure that we are being fair with all candidates. Um, here's a print screen from the platform, which I'm going to go there and show you right uh, very, very, fast, very soon um, about how to do it. But our uh, English assessment is only three questions. Tell me about yourself, discuss a technical challenge you have faced, and three questions you would ask in an interview. If you click, you're going to have more resources. I'm going to show you. But for now, I want to talk pretty much about discuss a technical challenge. If you haven't heard about the STAR strategy for interviews, research on that. We also have YouTube videos on that topic. STAR consists for situation, task, action, and result. If you describe a technical challenge and you describe the situation the technical challenge was, the task you were responsible on that situation, the actions you took to overcome the challenge, and the result you achieved after achieving that uh, technical challenge, after solving that challenge, that's exactly what we're looking for. So prepare a 
Think about a project and think about the situation, the task you took, the actions you took, and the result and the outcome. That's the best way to describe this one. For the last one, you have to share three questions that you would ask in an interview to the employer. So if you want to know about culture, if you want to know about the company, if you want to know about the, the product itself, those are the questions you would ask them about tell me about yourself, it's pretty much elevator speech. Yesterday, we had a very cool webinar about that with Van Hacom, plus the video I just show you on the platform. So you have no excuse to not crush on that one. You can nail tell me about yourself. If you were not on the webinar yesterday, soon will be um, available the recording version, but it's pretty much sharing who you are. So go there and do it as soon as possible. Be spontaneous, double check your audio, check your lighting, and don't feel pressure about coding. Yes, you wanna promote yourself exactly like you feel like it's gonna be professional, but it doesn't mean tie and, and, uh, and jacket. You can just be yourself. As long as you feel confident that that represents you, that's what matters. For every video, you have around 45 seconds to uh, two minutes to um, complete those questions, those three questions. Most candidates finish in less than 15 minutes, but you do have three hours to record the whole thing. So you have time to read the instructions, to read the examples, and you can go there. Again, the profile completion and English verification are mandatory for you to apply for a job. So go there and complete those two steps. Otherwise, you cannot even be considered for any job. I'm going to go fast through code verification because I want to show you on the platform English and code together. So why does code challenge is so important? It's important because it helps you to stand out from competition. It shows your skills. It can prove that you are saying that you are good on Python and you are good on Python. You used to have seven days to complete and you could retry every month, but we just changed that. You, can, you have 24 hours and you can retake every three months. That information is already here in the code test. So let's start with the English verification. You can come at the top or right here. So English verification. You can just start again. Remember that my was advanced. If I want to get fluent, all I have to do is come here and click start again. So I'm going to have to answer. Tell me about yourself. Discuss your technical um, challenge and the three questions I would ask during an interview. If you have questions, here is the fact where it has many answers. If you are wondering what level, uh, what that level represents, then you can come here and has a description about basic, intermediate, advanced, fluent, and more information, more details about the task itself. I want to show you how it will look like. So because I already said you are okay to use my microphone and my camera, uh, it just allowed me to record right away. For some of you, it might show in the top that uh, we need to allow for it. I have three hours counting down here. First question, 45 seconds to two minutes, then a minute to two minutes, then a minute to two minutes. Here you can see a brief description about the intention, what we recommend you to include, some example, an example with John as a full stack developer here and same idea for John, again, a full stack software engineer, but in a different way. Uh, make sure that you don't read a script. Make sure you record the video in a quiet place so we can listen you out. Make sure that your quotes, that you, are feel, uh, you feel comfortable, your professional quotes and uh, listen again to make sure that your audio and your video are doing well. Uh, especially like the mouth and the audio being aligned, that's important so we know that you are actually doing live and not just using a recording or anything. Uh, for every question, we have a very good explanation about how to answer those, 
um, see for the end, the end of the question. So which three questions you would ask on an interview? So ask three questions. You, for the code challenge, you can come to the top again, select code challenge, and same idea. Here is some of your tasks. Here is how you can uh, have more information. So what you need to know about the test itself, frequent questions, technical issues, everything you need is right here. I want to share uh, some of our challenges here. So if you come start a new challenge, you can see all the challenges that we have. Um, for example, if you're a DevOps, you would type here DevOps and you will see that we don't have. In that case, you are not uh, required to do. We used to have, we no longer have, so it's not mandatory and, uh, and it's not, uh, um, it's not, it's not uh, an extra for you anymore. If you are JavaScript or Java, you can see that you have here the option. So let's try JavaScript. If you select here, why well, is not going here? Uh, you have a brief explanation. You have 24 hours to complete and you are going to be redirected to our partner. So apply and then you can see more instructions about uh, the challenge. So you're going to have to complete in one day. You have two challenges or two questions uh, to complete and you're going to have um, to fill up your information. Go next. And then you can see um, your test itself. So start assessment. And then you can start coding. If you just come here, you type the information, that's what matters. Oh, you feel like you haven't completed yet. You always have 24 hours. If the, the, the score is not uh, what you want, you can always come back in three months to complete it all. And we will show here, as you can see, mine wasn't scored because I haven't completed. I still have 23 hours and 59 minutes to complete it. And then I'm going to receive the score right here. Um, something that I always receive in questions is, what if my um, score is not as good? Will company see? If your score is above 70%, yes, it, they will see. But if it's below, no, they won't see. So that's something that you want to keep in mind. If you are below 70, do not worry. Just wait another three months, go there and take it again. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to the presentation so we can talk about jobs and events. You can always come to our platform and you're going to know all the webinars we have, all the jobs we have opening right now. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to open the platform so you can see. All you have to do is come to find a job. So to find a job, all you have to do is come and take a look. Senior task automation in Winnipeg, you want to apply? All you have to do is click here, apply. All you have to do if you have your English verification and your profile completed is click one single button. Any job that you see as new, it's because it's been posted in the last seven days. But if you want to use only remote, for example, then it's going to change to other. If you want to type it here, you can just go and explore yourself for the job board. Something pretty cool from VanHack, it's My Jobs. It's the pipeline where you can see the jobs you applied and the jobs that we can suggest you to participate. So here is the event. So if you're a part of an event, you're going to be seen here. These are the jobs that we recommend you to apply because it has similar similarities with the skills and your profile. And those are the ones that I applied. Let's say that I apply for this one and I got an interview. This one will move here. If I get an offer, we'll move here. So you can always keep track of the jobs you already applied. 
or the jobs you are interested. So let's say I want to um, apply for this one. All I have to do is click and I can select apply again if it does match with my experience. Um, events, if you're here, you already know, but I wanna show just one more time, any event we have, all you have to do is see details and apply. For some of you, it might show apply right away because you haven't applied yet, but because I did, it's just show events. So I guess we covered all uh, the most important points on our platform, but I want to remind you guys that this is your responsibility. For you to get a job, you have to study. And we provide that material on anywhere, like pretty much everywhere, blog, podcast, YouTube, and an online course. So if you want more details about, let's say your template, why is it not going? Okay, your uh, the resume template or how to improve your skills or how to um, cr or, or update your profile if you want more information. Here, there are many courses where you can go. So for the template I just show you, uh, you can just come here and click then hack resume template. And then you have the link right here for you, exactly the same link. If you want to explore, um, let's say, um, job interview resources, here it is. Technical mentoring, here it is. If you're part of an event like the Women in Tech, you're going to have many, many resources. You're going to have improve your resume, dress code, type of interview. You're going to have some answers for common questions on interview. You're going to have webinars, how to rock your online interview, how you ace your code. This is a really good uh, resource to go, actually. Um, and job descriptions from the companies for that specific event. Um, details about some of our partners that participated in that event, classes. So you can go there and you're going to have a lot of resources. And if you study the company, how to improve your, your uh, interview skills, you fill your profile and you complete your English verification, you can get a job so fast. It's going to increase your chances. Like It's going to skyrocket your chances of getting a job abroad. Besides that, Finally, the Black Friday, um, our Premium Academy, where you're going to have even more resources in 40 hours of interview practice every month, um, live classes where you can interact with our teachers and ask questions and participate on exclusive webinars um, and much more. You can always request profile review. You also have our uh, webinars exclusive and our Slack community, which is also exclusive for Permian. If you want to do for a month, you can save 30%. But if you choose to do for six, actually not six because of the extra months, if you want to do for seven months, you can save 60, 50%. So go there, sign up for the six months and get an extra one and you can save 50%. If you have any questions, every day Camila and Julia are doing Q&A for premium on our Slack. So you, all you have to do is go there, Slack, Venhack dash Camila, and she's going to have many questions for you. If you have any questions for me, you can also contact me too at at Venhack dash Fernanda on Slack. Now, finally, uh, Q&A. So I'm going to read a few questions to see how I can help you guys. Um, let me stop sharing for just a little bit so I can read better. Um, if you get hired before six months, remember that uh, the, the premium is completely different from our um, hiring process. So you can still improve your English. You can still be there and learn about um, how to improve your abilities, your English, your employability skills. So it's completely different. It doesn't matter if you got hired or not for the premium version, for the premium academy. Uh, all right. Um, 
Is there a place to practice the code task? We don't have a place to practice, but you can take every three months. So um, just go there and give it a try. I think that's the easiest way for you to, to just give it a try. Uh, I live in Turkey and I want to work remote. Uh, will I have a problem in terms of the time zone? It depends on the company. That's something that you want to uh, inform and express for the hiring manager, for our recruiter. Because some companies want you to use their own time zone. So I have a candidate that is in India, but she works Canadian hours. So she literally switch day for night. But it's just temporary. She wants to move to Canada. So she's doing that until her visa gets approved and she can actually move here. If you are okay with doing that or if you're okay with working a different time zone, um, that's what matters. Uh, what is the add a job button in my job page? Okay, let me share my screen. You have to put you guys to the side. You don't have a job at the job page. You can see the jobs you already applied and the jobs we recommend you to apply based on the system, based on the match in here. But if you want to apply, then you have to click in the job. It's going to open this second screen and then here is the apply. And then you click apply from here. I hope does that make sense? I hope I answered your question. Let's see other questions here. I have a problem with completing my resume and use of action verbs. Can you explain for senior developer? Uh, go on the courses, see if you can get some resources there, but uh, make sure that you realize what are the projects that you are most proud. You can Google action verb and you can just think about the star and minimize. So remember, star stands for situation, task, actions and result. So if you know what is the project you did, you can always convert to action verb, what you did and how you did. And that's what matters. Is there an opportunity for juniors? Um, yes, but it's very rare. Most of our jobs and our, and our partners, uh, they're looking for seniors um, because they want to make sure that they're going to invest in someone that will bring a lot of benefit for themselves. So um, my recommendation is for you to look for a job in your home country, gain the experience, and then look for a job abroad. Uh, I shared my intro videos. Would it be available for companies on VanHack only, or it would be available for total public, everyone internet? Just for VanHack companies, um, just for our partners. It's not available for anyone. It's just an internal use. Uh, I already answered why, how you can do the practice code test. You don't have a practice, but you can always give it a second uh, chance in three months. Uh, how do I make sure I got an extra month offer? Everyone that uh, signs up for, um, for the promotion, even if you sign up for one month, you're going to get the extra month. So if you apply for one month, you actually have two months. If you apply for three months, you actually have four months. And six months, you actually have seven months. So that's the good thing. Everyone is eligible for an extra month. Um, what else here? Um, it does not have the option post degree. Do I have? Choose the one that is closer. Um, if your post degree is not a master, your highest is bachelor. Uh, if your post degree is uh, a master, then you select master. I have completed my profile. My English verification is advanced and the code challenge also on JavaScript and etc. The oh, I'm looking for a front end role and uh, but I still whenever I apply the opportunity I'm getting Sorry, it's a bit confused. I'm getting what the profile is not selected. My profile is... Okay, I couldn't understand very well, but I'm going to assume that this case is that this person has English verification, it had completed 
English verification as advanced completed the coding challenge on JavaScript and has experience as a front end, but it still is not receiving any um, interview or invite. First thing that I would look on that is how long is taking for you to apply? If you if you apply in the first few minutes, in the first hour, and for sure before the 48 hours it was posted, that increases your chances and your profile description. So if you're describing tasks you did and not achievements you made, then you are going to be seen as equal to someone else that has also advanced English, also code challenge, and also fill the profile. So you want to differentiate yourself by writing better what you have done and how you saved time, saved money, uh, improved some, some, some procedure. I think that's uh, the easiest way for you to readjust your resume and, and your profile. And again, um, it's hard to say. We have so many candidates applying, so many positions coming up. So just keep your hopes high and make sure you apply and that you keep improving your profile and updating with everything that you do um, in your career. Uh, we are not saying that it's easy to find a job. We are saying that we are here for you to make that hard task more um, easy and facilitated and that you can feel more secure and, and have a higher chances. But it's not like we can give everybody a job. So you do your homework and we do ours and I'm sure you'll get there. Uh, I got 60 in the DevOps challenge. How can I attempt to improve the score? For DevOps, it's no longer available, but as soon as it's up again, then you can retake it. What three hours? After three hours, you cannot decide to do another video. Okay, so that's a question for the English verification. You have three hours to complete the three questions um, for the English verification. If you don't do it, um, you can uh, let me know and we can see what you can do. If it was, let's say, your internet ran out and you, you couldn't finish. But if not, you can retake in a month. It's going to allow you to, after a month, to retake the English verification. So uh, make sure that your connection is working well. It takes only 15 minutes. Go there and get that done as soon as you can. Um, if you're a business analyst, discuss technical, could be discuss a business challenge. I couldn't understand your question, Jane, I'm sorry. Um, I'm a master in data science. My experience is in project management. Is this the platform suitable for me? Right now, we don't have many positions in data science, but I highly recommend for you to keep looking because we never know what they're looking for. So you want to ensure that um, your profile is there for in case it opens. Um, should we public our uh, should we public publish or public uh, our intro video uh, in the reason the reason I ask is because English verification I have given is more, almost two years old and may not, may not be updated data because I have changed my current firm should I retake Van Hack videos public okay um, from what I understood from your question you have done the English verification two years ago your abilities have changed so you want to have to retake the assessment to neither improve your English and update your information. Yes, you can um, go there and retake the verification. Every two years expire, so soon you're probably going to receive a message um, to retake anyway. And it's a really good call if you uh, improved your English or if your experience changed drastically, go down and retake. I think those are the most important pieces. Um, you already have a link for the offer for the premium um, promo. If uh, you, you for inter okay, I'm gonna read a few more questions and then I'm gonna make sure that I go through Slack and answer all your questions that are there. For interview, should I be in Canada? Right now, for sure, no. In the past, you used to have the lip events and those interviews were in person, but right now everything is through Zoom. 
Can I take my English certificate anytime? You can, the English certificate, if you mean TOEFL, IELTS, and um, CELPIP, for those you only add the information on our profile. For the English assessment, for our assessment, yes, you can take anytime and you can retake every 30 days. Um, but I still really recommend you to do as soon as possible because it takes a few days to get corrected, three to five days, business days, and then you can start applying sooner. Um, I have 15 years of experience at, at SAP. Uh, with integration, I worked at several projects. Could I, I couldn't find any job at SAP on the job portal. Bo, do you have any suitable jobs for me? Again, the best you can do is Keep checking our job board. Uh, it's hard to say if it's going to show a SAP job right now or in a month or in a day. So make sure that you go there and you keep looking. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, I hope that webinar helped you. And if you have any questions, just reach us out. We're here to make your life easier. Uh, have a good day. And tomorrow we have more webinars for you. So bye.